Alrighty, this one is called This New Anime Destroy Twitter from Hirohe. Jesus, this guy almost has 600k subs. Alright, let's see what he has to say. So there's a manga from 2019 that's called Senpai is an Otokonoko. For those that don't know, Otokonoko is basically Japanese for feminine dude or cross-dressing male, or we could simplify I, it. And I love the Japanese direct translation for Otokonoko is literally just male daughter, male girl. Basically just say femboy. Well, yeah. this manga just got an anime that began airing about two weeks ago, and currently I believe it's on like... This... Say what you will, I don't care whether or not you're fucking, you know... You think that this shit's gay or this shit's fucking, you know, propaganda trying to make them kids all gay or something. No, no, no. I think the anime is trying to tell an actual deep story about, you know, kids with these different things that they want to do, but their parents won't let them. It's, it's, it seems deeper than it seems. But on Crunchyroll, remember what happened? There was two separate Yaoi enemies. This is not Yaoi, but, you know, people dog on this shit because it's like, you know, pro-LGBT. And then the comment section fucking got removed because of that shit, right? Crunchyroll straight up just like, nope, we're not dealing with this homophobic shit. Like episode three. So you think that's all like fine and well, right? Like if people want to watch it, they can. And yeah. if not, then they won't. Except yeah. things aren't quite that simple on Terminally Online Twitter. <laughs> As this anime has sparked a lot of anger from people who can't yes. stand that the Otokonoko main character, Makoto, is not trans. And in this video, I'll show- Oh boy. Oh boy. We got a situation. It's just like Honkai Star Rail characters. I think when Robin came out, how many people were getting mad at Tectone, the baldy, the baldy god of gotcha, saying, you know, he was like, no, no, Tuanto, no, someone came out saying, you know, I, do you have a shot with her? I think it might have been Tuanto, and then Tectone said something, and, and, and then the whole community was like, no, she's a lesbian! How dare you? And it's like, Terminally online people trying to self-insert their own identity onto characters for representation when the anime source material is not even trying to do that. I think that's just fucking cringe. Show you how insane this situation gets. From people raging that the MC isn't trans, to people trying to lie about Otokonoko and say it's a slur, and even false Wikipedia edits, and apparently Crunchyroll getting involved. For now, <laughs> we'll start with some of the Twitter anger. For example, yeah. we have this tweet with over 300 likes where this person says, Japan needs to cut all this Otokonoko BS and start calling them what they are, which is literal freaking trans girls. 575,000 impressions, 311 likes, 302 reposts, but 113. Oh, they about to get cooked for this shit. And listen, listen. There's a broad spectrum of people, right? Cross-dressing, I don't think, is a person trying to be trans. This guy still identifies as a guy. He has a hobby of dressing up as a girl and trying to, you know, tap into the feminine side, but I don't think cross-dressers are actually trans, right? Even femboys, like femboys, cross-dressers, I think there is an overlap, right? But I know that in the past, like even on Twitter, it's mentally ill people say shit like, they try to like gatekeep, saying like, oh, you know, traps, femboys, you know, cross-dressers, like, how dare you call them trans? I remember there's a whole heated discussion about people thinking like, no, you're not allowed to be trans. You're still trying to cling on to your, you know, gender identity of, of what you were born as and a bunch of bullshit like that. But it's like, it's not really up to other groups of people to enforce their ideology and how they identify, how they think other people should identify, right? Like if this guy, and again, it's a fucking anime character. It, 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 I, I'm pretty sure there might even be a monologue about how they identify as a man in the fucking anime, but Twitter is just special, right? It's, it's just a cesspool of mentally ill people that feels like it's, it's just professional fucking Olympic victims, right? These people just live to get triggered and try to get upset or something to farm fucking imaginary engagement on Twitter. And as that other commenter points out, that post is only reinforcing gender stereotypes. Yep. Which is a really good point. And it's a major contradiction in people like the OP's rhetoric, and I'll break that down further right now. Because those people say that- So like this gender stereotype, right? What does this say? Gender stereotypes, right? Reaffirming gender stereotypes is not a good thing. Because now, you know, these stereotypes, whether it be positive or negative, suddenly you're going to broadly label these groups- uh, generalizing them, saying like, oh, you're cross-dressing? No, you must be trans. It's like, how could you possibly think that? The other people identify in different ways. Like, everyone is not just like you. Forcing gender stereotypes, which is a really good point. And it's a major contradiction in people like the OP's rhetoric, and I'll break that down further right now. Because those people say they support gender expression, but then they get mad when someone breaks the stereotypes and is- I kind of like how he's using Venti as background footage because he's a resident fanboy of Genshin. They support gender expression, but then they get mad when someone... Does that mean Venti is trans? 
Hold the fuck up. Is Venti trans? Hmm, I don't see anyone else getting fucking mad about this bullshit, man. Everybody knows Venti is a fanboy. Everyone knows that he's a fucking fanboy. But trans is somebody that identifies as a woman by trying to even like take on, you know, like HRT and transition from man to woman. I don't think Venti identifies as a woman. Breaks the stereotypes and isn't trans. I've even seen this myself, actually. On rare occasion, I might post a picture of myself to Twitter. Sometimes a lifting pic, but other times a pic where I play up the fanboy stuff for the memes. And whenever I post one of those, there's always some responses from people who mm. are actually mad that I'm not trans. As mentioned, it's a very bizarre contradiction in their rhetoric. And part of why I find this particular topic to be especially amusing. We got another... This guy a fanboy? <clears throat> Hero Hey. Hero Hey Femboy. This is a risky Google search. If I type Hero Hey Femboy in the Google search engine, I don't think I should do this right now. I don't think I should be doing this. I will not do this. I just, yeah, second thought? No. No, no, no. Let's get back. Let's get back. Set of tweets here, the OP getting tens of thousands of likes cumulatively between both of them, where they quote Makoto from the Otakonoko anime, and then say they don't care that the anime is labeled cross-dressing and that Makoto is trans femme to them. Not only is it but labeled like, cross-dressing, I know it's labeled as cross-dressing, any manga, but she is trans femme to me, IDC, like, okay, I guess that's your headcanon, right? Like, okay, but like. You are straight up just ignoring what the author is trying to fucking tell. That this character identifies as a boy who's trying to cross-dress and tap into the feminine side. And maybe, who knows? Maybe in the future, after the motherfucking accepts him as, you know, a male daughter, right? He decides to then, decides, you know, I don't, I don't want to identify as a man. I want to be a woman. And then he goes trans. That's when you can say shit like this. But, like, how can you just insert your own headcanon and then get mad about this shit online. Dressing, but Otokonoko is literally in the title. Also, you might notice they misgender Makoto as a she. So they're cool with misgendering when it's convenient to them. Ain't that <laughs> ironic. True, right? Whenever you have like people trying to be mean to trans people, right? They'll refer to them as a man, right? If it's like a trans girl and it's, 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 it's very like inhumane by trying to refer them to their past names and trying to say that you don't pass and blah, 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 and you misgender them. People get very upset about that. But when it's, in their favor, when it's they're trying to fucking, you know, ad address their own propaganda back, suddenly it's fine to just, you know, just forget about... A again, it's a fucking anime character. Who gives a fuck? But, like, you can see the hypocrisy at this play. The responses are also full of people saying that he's 100% trans and that an Oda... These clips all have maximum trans -em energy. Agreed! Why is the trans... <laughs> I don't know if this is an actual word. Trans be an anime. It's wild to me that some this is somehow cross-dressing. She's acting like how any typical trans girl would act about having her gender be affirmed by a stranger. I think that Makoto is in the early phases of potentially becoming trans, but she's not trans yet, right? Oh, sorry, I misgendered him. He's not trans yet. I mean, it isn't, uh, isn't this sort of different from cross-dressing since she actually identifies and wants to be seen as a girl? Ah. <sighs> That part, I haven't seen enough of the anime to really, like, agree or disagree, but based off of episode one, for sure, he has different hobbies that's more feminine compared to traditional things that a boy should be doing, but I don't know if, if he actually identifies as a girl. It's not cross-dressing if she's genuinely happy about passing as a girl. She indeed is! Cross-dressing doesn't do justice to what she is. I don't know. I think that these are a bunch of delusional people trying to enforce their own fucking narrative about how a cross-dresser is trans, even though it's literally not. Like, they identify as a man, I think. And it's in the, maybe it's the precursor, early stages of becoming trans, but not quite there yet. The Kanoko would never want to be seen as a girl. Obviously, that isn't true. It really depends on the individual. But many Otakonokos would enjoy being seen as a girl for a variety of reasons. A very common one being that they simply enjoy trolling people. And for another anecdote, I've been misgendered before and thought it was actually hilarious. I posted about one of those times, if you want to pause mm. and read it. For so I got misgendered at the store today, XD. I was in line for a fish. The employee's like, can I help you, miss? And I responded back in the deepest, loudest voice I could make say, yeah, <laughs> you can help me out. I am miss. And then I start laughing. And he starts laughing. And it was very wholesome. <laughs> Based. Everyone else, back to the news. Someone even points out that Makoto is canonically not trans, but the OP says that they reject the canon. Talk about peak delusion.
Okay, well, at this point, that's, 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 that's the end of the video, right? Like, I like to reject canon sometimes, you get it, yes. You know what? At the very least, this person is being very brutally honest. They're like, yep, I don't give a fuck what the story is saying. I don't care what the author is trying to say. I am going to enforce my headcanon. I don't care about the source material. This is my delusion. But then to go on by it and try to rag this anime by saying she needs to be trans. I don't know. Loki kind of based how they just admit that they don't give a fuck about the source material and it's just a delusion, but like, come on. Talk about peak delusion. Believe it or not, things actually get even crazier. As Doodling Kitsune would point out that some complete nut job weirdo <laughs> would actually edit the wiki page for Senpai wa Ato Kanoko. So, so devoid of anything worth in their life. You spent your time to make a point on Wikipedia to transfer cross-dresses to transgender, transgender person. Like, I would genuinely like to know, like, the day-to-day -day life of these people. Like, I know for a fact that any regular civilized being that's participating in society is too fucking tired after working to do bullshit like this. This has to be deranged, mentally ill fucking needs or children that have nothing better to do, so they spend their time going on fucking religious crusades like this. It's insane. Like, this is what you're doing with your free time? To just to make a point? Jesus Christ. Attempting to change Makoto from a crossdresser to a transgender person. However, they did fail, as those actions have since been reversed. That's a good point. Does that mean season two Kirito is trans? Man. Kirito, fanboy Kirito, GGO Kirito, right? I guess he's trans, man. I guess that Shinon and Kirito, that's a lesbian relationship. You got me. You got me good. Here we have the OP from before, still trying to claim that Makoto's trans. And someone responds, attempting to lie about Otakonoko, saying it's a Japanese tea slur. So not only- It's genuinely just upsetting that the Otokonoko stuff is still peddled despite it literally being considered a Japanese tea slur in their culture. Tea slur, I don't have to say it, right? You know what they're- it, what, you know what that word is, you know, referring to trans people. It's just disappointing that we have to put up this uh, and transphobes claiming these characters are exclusively male. It's not considered a slur. There are actually people who identify as Otokonoko and the culture surrounding this label is very popular in Japan. There's even cafe themes around Otokonoko and magazines to focus on them. This is a very interesting topic because like even the word trap, you know, back in the day, trap was like the de facto term used for um, guys that look like girls, right? Crossdressers, femboys, or even trans people, I think they all got kind of like categorized into this like one term, like a trap. And then suddenly people are saying shit like, nah, this shit's a slur now. You need to you know, properly identify people, but I don't know. This ain't my domain. Only will these people lie, but they'll also openly try and erase people who are Otakonokos. There's so many examples of people either raging about this anime or lying about it and so on. So obviously I can't cover all of it or even close to most of it, or we'd be here for like weeks on end. So moving on to the next part of the video, we have mm. Niche Gamer reporting that Crunchyroll allegedly removed the comments on their website all because of this anime. Right? I don't think it was this specific anime though. We've watched a lot of different videos regarding the Crunchyroll removing the comment section. And I think there was a different actual BL or Yaoi anime. I know that Senpai's no Tokunoku was one of them that was, you know, getting brigaded by a bunch of hate. And Crunchyroll decided to go to a nuclear option to remove comment sections in order to appease Sony and different collaborations. Because having that kind of shit online does not look good <laughs> and regarding sponsors and advertisements. But, you know, to just do that instead of fucking moderating and destroying a community, they were just fucking L Crunchyroll. Einhardt responding, saying that they were specifically locked. Twilight Out of Focus? Yeah, it might have been that anime. I don't know. Because people would point out that Otokonokos are not trans. Regarding Crunchyroll, removing comments, perhaps the reality of the situation is somewhere in the middle. As in Crunchyroll may have had a variety of reasons for removing comments. Yeah, I think that this is the last straw that broke, right? It's not like this specific instance is why it happened. I think that Crunchyroll has been festering these has issues that's been festering over a long time, and now they realize that shit, this is an excuse to just go the nuclear route, fuck it, let's do it, L Crunchyroll, go pirate. Comments. But this anime airing at this time may have helped them quantify that decision. So as you can see, there's a ton of absolutely insane stuff surrounding this anime. However, that's all of the main things covered as briefly as possible. As always, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did- Yeah, I know, if you did, go give this man a like on his video and sub to the channel if you have it. This is interesting. A 600k channel that I've never seen before, you know, covering anime topics like this. This is very interesting stuff to me. But again, like, I'm not trans. I'm not, you know, I'm, 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 not, I'm not part of the fucking spectrum. So I, I, who, who am I to, 
you know, fucking feels like sometimes I'm talking on like a moral grandstand saying like, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But it's just really simple to just leave people alone. Don't fucking try to like self-insert your own narrative or your own ideals onto other people simply trying to exist. But that's it for me.